All right, our next comedian coming up is a good friend of mine, and he's very funny. I want you to give a warm welcome for Paul Ramirez. Come on. Hey, Copper Muse, how we doing tonight, guys? Good? Good. Let's go ahead and give it up for Copper Muse for doing this. They're doing a great job. Give it up for Sammy and Pat for doing a great job. Oh, uh, everybody drinking? Everybody drinking? Yeah, I like to drink. Um, and when I drink, I do this thing uh, where I black out. And, uh, and then when I black out, I do this thing that my friends like to consider uh, gay? I don't know. Uh, I make out with a bunch of dudes. Uh, and the thing is, I'm okay with it. I'm totally fine with it. It's just that they're not, you know? Because <laughs> I'm pretty aggressive about it, I'll admit it. Um, and they'll usually come up to me the day after and they'll say, Paul, I really didn't like it when you tried making out with me last night. So when I kind of look at them and I say, well, you know, that's how women feel when you try and do it to them. Honestly, guys, it's the most feminist thing I do in my life. <laughs> that's really okay with me. Um, I, uh... I like to watch a lot of TV. Anybody here finish up Westworld recently? Yeah, all right. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen Westworld, it's this TV show about an adult theme park set in the West with lifelike robots where you can do anything. And apparently anything means you just fuck the robots. And I, you know, thought for a second, would I have sex with a robot? The answer is absolutely, guys. 100% I would. Because they can make these robots look like anybody. I get pre-Coke Lindsay Lohan, you know? Back uh, when she looked good in Mean Girls? I don't know. All right. Uh, I could get Matthew McConaughey saying, all right, all right, all right, every time I had sex with him. That sounds wonderful. And do you want to know the best part about that? Is that I'm going to keep getting older, but he's going to stay the same age. So, pretty, pretty stoked about that. <laughs> um... I did cocaine for the first time the other month. That was pretty cool. I'm telling you now because it's out of my system, so you guys can't... I'm just talking at this point, but... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had the most incredible hangover right afterwards, you know? It was just like, I didn't want to do anything, but I had to go to work. Um, and I was telling my buddy this, and, and he asked me, well, how much did you do? I don't know how to judge, like, what a line is, so I just said... Oh, it was like, you know, a sugar packet? Yeah, like half of one of those. I would be the worst drug dealer because, like, a kilo of coke to me is like ten sugar packets. So, I don't, I don't know how to judge it. Uh, I, um, and I've been getting upset lately because I've been watching, uh, been watching Tiny Homes. Have you guys seen this shit? Tiny Homes? Yeah. It's this, uh, you know, it's pretty much, uh, a rich family wants to take, you know, wants to take their family out of a nice home and put them into a smaller one. Which is, you know, great, I guess. <laughs> you know, they're just ruining a, a childhood. But, uh, <laughs> but it's, it just gets ridiculous. And I'm not going to tell you what the color of this family was. They were white, but <laughs> it's absurd. And of course they were white, you know? Of course they were. Uh, you're never going to have a Latino family on there because they already live in tiny homes, so it's just redundant. <laughs> and, uh, and you guys always like to put, like, you know, terms in front of everything, you know? Your coffee has to be cold brew, your beer has to be craft, your sex has to be consensual. And... <laughs> Alright guys, that's all my time. Thank you so much.